The National Resident Matching Program strives to maintain a fair and transparent process for all match participants. The match participation agreements that govern NRMP matches contain important policies and specify the steps participants must take to comply with them. Non-compliance, whether intentional or not, could result in an investigation and sanctions. This video, one of three in the Applicant Policy Pitfalls series, covers common mistakes applicants make during the matching process. Other videos in the series cover mistakes that occur during the application and interview processes and the Supplemental Offer and Acceptance Program, or SOAP, for the main residency match. Let's consider some examples of mistakes made during the matching process. Information about waivers and violation investigations is included. Vicki Rossi submitted a rank order list that included psychiatry and neurology programs, although her preferred specialty was psychiatry. Two weeks after the rank order list certification deadline, she learned of a new psychiatry program that was accepting applications outside the main residency match. Although told she could not withdraw from the match, Ms. Rossi interviewed with and accepted a position in the new psychiatry program, placing her in violation of the match participation agreement. Gerald King accepted an ophthalmology position through the San Francisco match, but did not withdraw from the main residency match prior to the rank order list certification deadline. Mr. King subsequently matched to a family medicine program through the main residency match. His actions placed him in violation of the match participation agreement. The match participation agreement permits applicants other than US, MD, and DO medical school seniors to withdraw themselves from the main residency match, but the NRMP must receive the withdrawal request prior to the rank order list certification deadline. The match participation agreement also prohibits applicants from applying for, discussing, interviewing for, or accepting a position that would run concurrent with positions offered through the NRMP after the rank order list certification deadline. Dr. Harry Smith matched the gastroenterology program at Utopia Medical Center. Because his wife decided she did not want to live in Utopia, Dr. Smith accepted a position in an endocrinology program at his home institution for the same appointment year. Matched applicants cannot accept a concurrent year position in another program unless they receive a waiver from the NRMP. Dr. Natalie Gupta began training in pediatric surgery in Atlanta on June 25th, but resigned on July 18th because she was too far away from her fiance. Although they believed they could handle the long distance, Dr. Gupta told her match program that her fiance threatened to end the relationship if she didn't return to California. Resigning before requesting and receiving a waiver placed her in violation of the match participation agreement. The match participation agreement establishes a binding commitment if an applicant and program match to each other, and they must honor the match results and start training in good faith on the date specified in the appointment contract and with the intent to complete the program. The match participation agreement also prohibits an applicant from giving notice of resignation, resigning, or vacating a position within 45 days of the start date specified in the appointment contract unless a waiver is granted by NRMP. After the match results were released, the anesthesiology program at Eagle Institution informed the NRMP that Matthew Nielsen had failed the pre-employment drug screen and no longer was eligible for the position. The anesthesiology program requested a waiver of the binding commitment. If, for any reason, an applicant cannot or will not honor the binding match commitment, a waiver must be requested from the NRMP by either the applicant or program. NRMP grants waivers under limited circumstances, such as change of specialty or an unanticipated, serious, and extreme hardship, such as applicant ineligibility or a sudden medical issue. The NRMP has sole discretion over whether to grant or deny a waiver, and that decision is not subject to arbitration. During a waiver investigation, NRMP seeks information from all relevant parties in order to determine if the conditions meet the NRMP's criteria for a waiver. The burden is on applicants and programs to present the facts for consideration. If NRMP grants a waiver, the applicant can obtain a position in another program and the program may recruit another candidate for the vacant position. 
If NRMP denies a waiver, the applicant and the program are expected to honor the binding commitment. Failure to do so is a breach of the match participation agreement and grounds for a violation investigation and sanctions. The applicant or program can request reconsideration of a waiver decision if either of them is dissatisfied with the outcome. NRMP also can grant a one-year deferral of a match commitment if both parties agree to it. Deferrals are not waivers, so the binding commitment must be honored the following year. The NRMP's Violations Policy contains important information about the investigative process. For applicants found in violation of match policy, sanctions levied by the NRMP can include being barred for one year for accepting or starting a position in any program sponsored by a match participating institution, regardless of whether the program participates in the match, being barred from participation in future NRMP matches for one to three years or permanently, and being identified as a match violator in the registration, ranking, and results or R3 system for one to three years or permanently. Applicants can dispute the NRMP's finding of a violation through arbitration. To avoid these pitfalls, read the match participation agreement and waiver and violations policies that apply to your match so you understand your rights and responsibilities. Remember, if you are an independent applicant, make sure to withdraw if you wish to accept a position through another match or at a non-match participating program. Do not interview with or accept another position unless you have been granted a waiver of your binding commitment. Be mindful of the impact of a match on personal relationships when submitting a rank order list. Review program onboarding processes and do what you must to successfully fulfill pre-employment screening requirements. NRMP policies can be found on the NRMP website along with other related resources. Applicants can contact the NRMP at policy at nrmp.org with questions. Also, be sure to view the other videos in the Pitfall series along with the policy highlights for applicants video.